good morning children have a great day now let us delve into the text again let us see what had happened in the past so let us delve into that tragic past when some people had witnessed tsunami a tragic disaster like tsunami so let's see what happens next tilly saw the sea slowly rise and start to form bubble and form whirlpools she remembered that she had seen this in class in a video of a tsunami that had hit the hawaiian islands in 1946 her geography teacher had shown her class the video and told them that tsunamis can be caused by earthquakes volcanoes and landslides so tilly had noticed something had noticed what had noticed a kind of change a kind of change what kind of change basically the level of sea was slowly rising means the water level was rising and bubbles were started to form slowly bubbles were started to form and foam was getting collected and the water was taking the shape or somewhere in the water she could see whirlpools whirlpools means rotational movement of water due to cyclonic depression or any turbulence in the sea so till he watched some changes or a kind of change that is taking place in the sea basically some changes like slowly the level of water was rising and foam was getting collected and forming bubbles as well as she could see some whirlpools she remembered that before she had seen this in class in her class in a video of a tsunami so she had observed all these things before before when in her class or while she was doing her class and it was due to a tsunami that it hit hawaiian islands in the year of 1946 so she was comparing she was going through the details of what she was observing and she was recollecting what she had seen earlier so basically she was comparing the things that she had observed in that video and what she was observing then before her her geography teacher had shown her class that very video and told them that tsunamis can be caused by earthquakes volcanoes and landslides so some informations were being given to her so she knew the reason or some basic reasons for which tsunami generally takes place or occurs so next line till he started to scream at a family to get off the beach she talked about an earthquake under the sea she got more and more hysterical said her mother 
penny. I didn't know what a tsunami was. But seeing my daughter so frightened, I thought something serious must be going on. So I thought something serious must be going on. So this was told by her mother, by her mother whose name was Penny. So Tilly started to scream at her family to get off the beach. So Tilly could realize the potential danger or the potential upcoming dangerous situation they were to be in. So she started to scream, started to shout at her family to get out of that shore, to go to a safer place, to go away from that beach. She talked about an earthquake under the sea. So she told about an earthquake under the sea that could bring such changes over there, that could bring such extreme, terrible conditions that were going to take place. So she talked about an earthquake under the sea. She got more and more hysterical. So now look at this meaning of hysterical. When you are hysterical, you shout, laugh or cry in a wild, excited way without any control over yourself. So being hysterical means somewhat being frenzy, somewhat being mad, somewhat getting into a state where you are in utmost confusion. You are in utmost turmoil inside of your mind and you start to scream or you start to shout loudly. You think that something is going to happen very dangerous in and around you. So this was the fear or how she was reacting. It was quite looking frenzy, hysterical as such. So she got more and more hysterical, said her mother, Penny. I didn't know what a tsunami was. So her mother was unaware of the term tsunami or what a tsunami is basically. But seeing my daughter so frightened, so she told that seeing her daughter so frightened, she thought something serious must be going on. So she thought that something must be very serious that was going to come. So she could understand the grave situation that they were to be in. So they were going to face a potential danger which she realized. Next see. Tilly's parents took her and her sister away from beach to the swimming pool at the hotel. A number of other tourists also left the beach with them. Then it was as if the entire sea had come out after them. I was screaming, run. So Tilly's parents took her and her sister away from the beach to the swimming pool at the hotel. So they ran away. They ran away to the hotel where they were in. Specifically to the swimming pool of that hotel. A number of other tourists also left the beach. So other tourists 
also left the beach seeing them or observing their activity. Then it was as if the entire sea had come out after them. I was screaming run. So the giant waves finally arrived one after another almost filling the whole shore. So they started to scream. They started to shout. They were telling each other to run away. To run away from that beach. Next para. The family took refuge in the third floor of the hotel. The building withstood the surge of three tsunami waves. If they had stayed on the beach, they would not have been alive. So the family took refuge. They took shelter in the third floor of the hotel. So they took shelter in the third floor of the hotel in which they were residing. The building withstood the surge of three tsunami waves. So it successfully withstood. It successfully had not been devastated or it successfully somehow stood after three tsunami waves too. If they had stayed on the beach, they would not have been alive. So they thought if they would have stayed on the beach, then they would not have been alive. They would have died. So they could have lost their lives. The water, the engulfing water would have grabbed them. The Smith's latter mate, other tourists who had lost entire families thanks to Tilly and a geography lesson. They had been forewarned. Tilly went back to her school in England and told her classmates her terrifying tale. So she went back safely to her country. She told her classmates what she had faced over there. And thanks to Tilly and her geography lesson. So, you know, the Smiths were saved due to what information or what informations were being given to her or what she knew before she came over there and she could observe the changes by which she could warn her family. So Tilly's family was basically forewarned, means warned beforehand only by her. And after she went back to her school, she went back to her country that is to England, she told her classmates what terrifying experience she had, what terrible experience she had gone through. 